I'm Dr. Akshita Singh. I'm a consultant breast surgeon at the Mazumdar Shaw Medical Center, NHL City, Bangalore. A lot of women come to our OPD asking us what are the risk factors of getting breast cancer and what are the things that we can do to prevent it. Uh, risk factors can be divided into two groups. We have something that are called as non-modifiable risk factors, uh, whereas the name suggests you can't really do much about it. And then you've got modifiable risk factors, which are something that, uh, you know, we can actively work upon if we want to reduce our risk of breast cancer. Uh, non-modifiable risk factors include things such as um, how long have you been menstruating? So if you have started your uh, menses or your periods before the age of 11, or you continue to menstruate beyond the age of 55, your risk is more. Um, if you have your first child after the age of 30, your risk is more. Um, if you choose not to have uh, children, then of course your risk is more. Uh, we also have uh, we also have certain factors such as genetics. I mean, um, uh, if you've got multiple members in the family who have breast or ovarian cancer, then again your risk is more. Um, and then we have certain things, um, you know, such as age, sex. Um, uh, with increasing age, your risk becomes higher, and of course women are more predisposed to getting breast cancer as compared to men. Uh, we then come to what are called as modifiable risk factors. Um, being overweight is definitely associated uh, with, uh, with an increased risk of breast cancer. The WHO recently came out with data which said that if you are overweight, you have an increased risk of developing or um, you know, uh, getting 13 different types of cancer, not just breast, it includes uterus, and it includes uh, colorectal as well. So um, you know, maintaining your ideal body weight is something that's very important. Uh, what diet you follow is uh, is also part of your modifiable risk factor um, and apart from that con uh, you know consumption of alcohol smoking uh, usage of a lot of oral contraceptive pills beyond five years of course uh, use of certain types of hormone replacement therapy uh, would also probably come in modifiable risk factors so what can we really do about uh, you know our risk of breast cancer what can we do to prevent getting breast cancer um, I think the single most important point that is there is to keep your weight under check. It's really important that you maintain an ideal body weight. It's very easy for us to say, please maintain an ideal body weight. A lot of patients try and then eventually give up, especially with advancing age. Uh, we tend to become a little bit more disheartened when we don't lose weight. But I always tell my patients, uh, you have to keep trying. Right? Don't ever give up. Make sure that you follow your lifestyle change. And lifestyle change is not something that you know you can adopt for six months and then decide, okay, I don't really want to do it anymore. I've done it for six months. I think I've done a good job. Lifestyle change essentially means just that it is changing your life forever uh, to adopt much more healthy uh, you know, practices. So keeping your weight under check is really important. Um, the second thing is your diet. We don't pay attention to a lot of what we are eating. Uh, you know, WHO recently included um, a processed food, processed meat, red meat as a carcinogen. So uh, it's really important that we cut down on the amount of red meat and processed food that we take. Uh, I'm not telling you to stop it completely, but if you do take it once a week, maybe we can switch over to twice a week. Uh, including more of uh, fruits, more of vegetables, making sure that we are exercising regularly. I think it's really important that we put in at least 45 minutes of vigorous exercise, um, you know, at least three days a week to make sure that, uh, you know, we have some sort of, um, uh, you know, exercise going on in the body. Um, and finally, of course, uh, don't smoke if you do. Um, again, I don't need to tell you that it increases the risk of a lot of other cancers, not just breast. Uh, limiting the alcohol consumption that, you know, uh, that you do in your daily routine uh, life would also be a good idea. Um, apart from that, I think uh, restricting the use of oral contraceptive pills, um, restricting the use of certain types of hormone replacement therapy, or if you're taking them, it's a good idea to make sure that you're in touch with a doctor. I have a lot of women because these are essentially over-the-counter medications. A lot of the women come to us, um, you know, with history of uh, 10, 15 year uh, use of oral contraceptive pills, and that might really not be a very good idea. So limiting the number of years that you use your oral contraceptive pill for is a good idea. And uh, these are the main things that we can do to prevent um, the development of breast cancer.